Greetings and welcome back to Warhammer Quest. Now last time we finally leveled up someone. Now we have a level 2 Wood Elf Waywatcher, which is great. But let's actually check out the market. I'm not sure if I did before. So we got a bunch of uh, consumables. It's actually a nice weapon. And some stuff here. That's a very nice mace, but uh, we don't have enough money. We could get a bunch of these. That's actually very cheap. If you compare it to the to the bandages, which cost me 30 gold. This one only costs 10 gold. So that's actually a good thing, perhaps. Let's see how many we can buy. Okay, only one. <laughs> well, it'll have to do. And all this stuff heals for uh, a bit more. Wow, plus nine strength for from a bunch of sausages. Nice sausages, I suppose. Okay, let's uh, see what we can sell. Yeah, nothing. Okay. So, I'm also thinking that I will probably not be using every character in this playthrough because uh, otherwise all the experience will be very much spread out over all the characters and I will need some higher level ones eventually if I want to actually advance in the game. So I'm thinking I'll probably be limiting myself to, to 6 or 7 characters and that'll be it. Then, the, then at least I also have some, some fresh characters for a, another playthrough. So, all right, let's just go adventuring, I suppose. So we have a whole bunch of quests here, but uh, I wouldn't exactly go there yet. Let's see, this one is recommended level two. There is no recommended level here, but I'm very much assuming that these will also be recommended level two. And this one, uh, that's one of the easier ones from over here at Siegfried Hof, so let's actually go to the Shadow Scale quest. And we seem to be getting a nice cloak or a cape, I suppose, from it. Alright, and let's go with the same team as last time. And we'll actually get to see how badass this new archer is. Well, not new archer, uh, just the level 2 archer. Shadow scale. It's a mythical armor. Nice. Okay. So let's uh, set up everyone. Now he has this Furblor uh, ability. I'm not sure if you can use it every every turn. So we'll have to check that out eventually. All right, let's continue and see what we have. Three skeleton militia. That's not too bad. We had worse. I must say it does look uh, pretty nice. This is actually a new kind of dungeon, I suppose. Haven't seen this yet. So, uh, what's actually the movement of a skeleton? Only four, so this one can't actually reach us. This one perhaps also not. No, he, he wouldn't be able to get us. So let's, um, let's try and kill this dude. Okay, I, I did say try. <laughs> this ticket poison oh right minus three max wound so i'll have to be somewhat careful with what i do with him and yeah that didn't actually go very well did it let's see can he shoot something from here yes let's try with the archer damn almost okay i guess we have to continue Yeah, 
Penalty misses. Excellent. Oh, I didn't really take that into account. Alright, I guess the item breaker doesn't have much choice. Actually, he's not pinned. Uh, let's <laughs> put him right in the middle. We might actually get some dead blows here. Wow, that's not good. Now he is spin, so I have no choice. But no dead blow. Now what do we got? Five in Winds of Magic. I guess I might as well uh, use Healing Mist on Slave. Oh, I should have moved him. If I moved him up here, I could have shot him and perhaps melee attack him. Oh, but that's right, I got two attacks now with the archer, so... Okay, well it didn't work out anyway, but... It could have. <laughs> and he misses. Wow, he's doing a lot of damage. And we get a nice scroll of healing. Excellent. I'm guessing he does uh, so much damage because of the because of the bracers that he has. Let's see what did it do? Yes, plus four strength. So yeah, they are very nice indeed. Let us continue. We don't seem to need to heal anyone at the moment. do have five and winds of magic now so I actually I'm going to heal that one wound on the slayer I might as well there we go now we are all good to go into the next room Let's just uh, end another turn. All right. And nothing. I must say, I am enjoying the game. It's a... Uh, it's quite simple, but it's uh, it has some nice nice things things to it. Kind of reminds me <laughs> just slightly of a well, yeah, XCOM, I suppose, and perhaps even Space Hulk. Although I guess it's fortunate that it's not that claustrophobic as Space Hulk. At least we, he uh, we here have uh, two tiles <laughs> to move on in every corridor, so that's nice. The shadow scale. Okay. So, four, uh, eight skeletons in total. This may hurt, but they are pretty far away, so uh, Archer, Archer, this Archer is actually very close. This guy will not be able to reach me. If these Archers actually don't move, he'll have to run around this whole thing, so I hope they don't move. <laughs> Let's see. I guess all he can do is attack this guy. Now the Iron Breaker can't do much. At least we got one archer down. Now how much? Uh, only five. Damn. Okay, well at least uh, let's try and oh no, let's try and take out this archer. And yeah, you miss. <laughs> do it again. And you miss again. That's uh, absolutely horrible. 
So, nothing we can do now? Let's see how this turns out. Yeah, the Iron Breaker is gonna get hit by a lot of things. Unless they miss. Oh. Alright. So these guys didn't move. I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Well, the Iron Breaker can't do much else than attack these guys. Gonna kill this one first. Well, kill. <laughs> Try to kill. Now we got the Slayer. I could send them over there. Perhaps. Uh, yeah, let's do that first. Let's send the Slayer over here. And now we send the Archer over here. Now he might have uh, a melee attack on this guy. But let's start off with killing this guy. Wow. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he hasn't hit a single thing yet. Okay. Do a melee attack. Okay, and that worked. What kind of an archer are you? Okay, so now we got the Slayer. That worked. No dead blow, unfortunately. Let's see now. So we have, yeah, only four and winds of magic. Let's try out this herd blur thing. It failed. Okay, so it can fail. That means we will need to use some potions. Plus one wound. Wow. That's... That's not good. So he, is, he still has the small provisions. Oh, no. Let's actually use it on, on himself. Plus two. Okay, that's better than nothing. And let's use the healing potion on the Iron Breaker. Oh, well, okay. I can't. So I guess the Iron Breaker is on his own for now. Let's see what happens. Alright, that's good. Ah, the mage isn't doing too well. Oh. Okay. Well, this uh, could go bad. <laughs> Yeah, well, and I don't have any magic at all. I suppose all he can do is try and kill this zombie. Almost. Now, what do we got here? We could use a potion of strength. Although I doubt he actually needs this, because he already has the bracers that do a lot of extra damage. So, let's, um, let's kill the spider first, because he can wet me. No dead blow. Now, the archer. Who to shoot? I don't like these archers, so I really want to kill this guy first. Finally. About damn time. Okay, now we gotta kill this guy. Or not. Hmm, that's not good. Uh, let's see, he's pinned by this dude, so let's try and kill him. Did it work? Excellent. So now he's unpinned, and I'm going to try and go over here and kill this guy. Wow. Okay, so that didn't work. Can you try Herblore again? Plus five wounds. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what happens this turn. 
Oh, that's that hurts. I'm glad he missed. If this guy got swept, that would have been terrible because he actually has uh, three attacks. Let's see, we gotta get rid of this guy. Alright, that was good. Now, uh, we do have healing mist. Now, do I use it on myself or on the Slayer? I'm actually gonna hold it for now and see what the Slayer can do. Let's kill this dude first. Hmm. Wow. Um, so it's kind of up to the archer now. Let's see. I want to kill this guy. This guy isn't much of an issue. This archer, whoever is, but even if I kill the archer, this guy is going to come in and probably attack the slayer. So that's not a good thing. Now... Actually, let's just uh, try anyway. Okay. <laughs> wow. I must be having some terrible rolls there. Well, that worked. Ooh, dead blow. Oh, too bad. So, okay. Um, let's do Herblore. Oh. <laughs> and do a healing mist on the mage because this archer is probably gonna shoot at him again. All right, let's see what happens. He misses. Oh, and he's down. All right, so now what do we do? He spins, so... I suppose I should actually attack him with the archer. Because he can... Okay, maybe not. Wow, that's absolutely horrible. Um... Okay, that worked. Now if I can... Kill the archer, that would be nice. Yeah, about damn time. <laughs> and... Uh... I suppose kill this guy. Well, almost. Now we should be fine, I think. Did he... Did he just die? I think he did. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, I, I think he's dead. So, we got a whole bunch of new stuff here. Um, he spins. Let's actually move him in here. Now the Slayer has to kill things, hopefully. Wow, that's uh, terrible. Uh, what else we got? We still have Herb Lore. <laughs> uh, who do we use it on? Okay, plus one wound. Not too bad, I suppose. Let's try and kill this guy first. Okay, that didn't work. Let's do it again. Okay, good. Oh crap, I should have moved him first then. Uh, he would have been able to do a melee attack on this guy. 
my bad. Okay, now let's... And I don't have any healing for this guy. I suppose I might just use this uh, scroll of protection. He might need it. <laughs> That's good. Now what about these archers? Another miss. They seem to be... wanting to kill the slayer. Ah. Oh. Alright, so the slayer can't actually do all that much except... kill things. No dead blow, unfortunately. Okay, that worked. Now, um, how do I do this? If I go over here, I might melee attack this guy and shoot at these two. Let's check it out. Alright, let's try this first. And that didn't work. Now let's try these. Oh. Okay, one down. Two down. So that almost worked. Let's try some herb lore on myself. Plus five. Excellent. So we should be fine unless this dude somehow does uh, six damage. Only three. Okay. Excellent. And what we get? Uh, another dagger. Okay. So it seems like we have found the shadow scale and it's for the shadow warrior. And what else? Nice, some uh, armor. And we finished this quest, but unfortunately it seems like... Uh, <laughs> The, the mage has died, I'm thinking. So where do we go? Let's, um, let's actually go back here to Siegfriedhof and I want to check out uh, what actually happened with the mage, so <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's gone, he's dead. So yeah, it does seem like the game is uh, very unforgiving. If the enemy seems to focus on, on one of your guys, he's uh, pretty much dead. So I guess that's actually a nice thing. <laughs> that means the hardcore option is actually very different than the other options. Let's level up these guys. There we go. Oh right, and they get some uh, skills. Extra wounds, always useful. An extra attack. And he has evade as a passive. That sounds uh, very good. Good for his uh, survivability. And what did the Iron Breaker get? Oh, we can't see. Where can I see it? Wait. Oh. Okay, so... Uh, apparently, you can get your guy back, but at level 1. Okay, that's good to know. I suppose that gives you some uh, leniency in the early game because, well, most of your guys are level 1 anyway, so you can actually get them back. But I'm supposing that uh, later on in the game when your guys are, what, yeah, level 4, 5, 6, I think, level 8 is the maximum, that it's uh, very much useless because, yeah, <laughs> you can't actually do much with, uh, 
and what's this click to retire I'm not actually gonna click it because I don't know what it does all right now what else let's check out the market so here we got the small bandages again Ooh, that looks awesome but very expensive we got more potions of healing I will certainly be buying one I guess I could as well buy the bandage that's actually pretty nice because it's a four to six wounds so that's actually very reliable but I won't buy it. <laughs> Not now. Oh, and uh, what do we got to sell? No junk, apparently. Let's hand out these uh, these new weapons and armor. So the the cloak is for the shadow warrior. Yep, only for the shadow warrior. That's good. Oh, one wounds per turn. That's actually nice. And this was for the Marauder, I think. Yep. Plus one toughness. Now, and this dagger. Isn't exactly the best. Who else can use it? The, the mage can and this mage can it would actually be an upgrade for this guy what about him it's actually an upgrade for him as well let's equip it and we'll be able to sell this now I think uh, since this dude is level 1 again anyway, I might actually try out the, the other mage. I'm not sure which one, the High Elf Arc Mage or the, or the Bright Wizard. And we also have some more consumables to hand out. Let's give the... No, let's give the potion to one of the frontline guys like him and let's give some rations to him and let's give the bandage to him oh and we still got a, a lesser scroll of healing almost forgot about it but well I'll uh, hand that one out when I actually decide which uh, which mage I'm going to bring next time. Anyway, I'll be ending the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it and see you next time.